Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Pisces. This is going to be for October 2024. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what your blockages are in love. Okay, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on if there's anyone new coming in for you guys. Um, apply this to your own unique situation. You may switch the roles if you want. If you're currently dealing with anybody, uh, like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Anyone interested in um, wanting to book a personal reading with me, the link for that is also in the description box below, okay? So for Pisces, what messages do we have for, for Pisces? What are Pisces' blocks and challenges in love for October 2024? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Pisces. For Pisces here. For Pisces. We have the Nine of Wands. In the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. We have the Sun, Leo energy, and also we have the Six of Cups. Okay. Seems like there's someone from the past here that you're thinking about. I do feel like this person has hurt you here. I do feel like this is an individual here that had never really got, gave you the gave you the attention that you're looking for here, but you could be missing this person a lot. Now, if you're not missing this person, this person could be missing you here. Some of you are thinking about you. Some of you are thinking about you a lot here, Pisces. And I feel like some of you are making plans to reach out to you with some sort of communication here if you guys are not communicating, okay? Now, if there's any sort of communication here, okay, I do feel like this person wants to clear the air and work things out here with you. Perhaps that's what you're looking for with this individual here, Pisces. Tell me the Nine of Wands here. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Nine of Wands and the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Eight of Pentacles here, the Eight of Pentacles, and also we have the Four of Pentacles here, okay? The Knight of Cups and the Four of Pentacles. Someone here is like holding on to hope for a second chance here. Um, you know, I do feel like whoever this is, I do feel like this person wants to, you know, romance you back into their life. The Sun card. Why is the Sun card here? And the Seven of Wands. The Six of Cups. And the Six of Pentacles. Okay. Someone here is definitely trying to like tempt you back. Someone here is definitely wishing you back here or trying to pull you back, trying to fight for you here. You know, perhaps with the Seven of Pentacles, you know, this is you like learning your lessons and that you don't want to, you know, waste any more time on this person here. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the King of Swords. And the World. Okay. I feel like this is you closing the door on this person, closing the chapter on this person here. Yeah. Yeah, this is you closing the door on this person, closing the chapter on this person here. What else do we have for, for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know, look out for, work on for October 2024? Uh, is there anyone new coming in for Pisces here for October 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces. We have the Two of Pentacles. 
and the Judgment card, Sagittarius Energy. We have the Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, and also the Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the Nine of Pentacles and also the Two of Swords. I mean, I feel like you guys are definitely enjoying your freedom and your independence here, Pisces. You know, if this person's coming back around, it's a hard left for you guys. You know, I do also feel like, you know, someone is coming back around, but also you guys are going out there, meeting new people here, you know, having fun, having a good time here. The Two of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands, Aries, Eagle, Sagittarius energy. With the Queen of Wands here and the Two of Pentacles here, you guys are juggling a lot at this time here. You guys just have a lot on your, uh, a lot on your plate. Yeah, you guys just have a lot in your plate here. We have the uh, Judgment card. Why is the Judgment card here? Judgment. Judgment. And also we have the Four of Swords. We have the Knight of Swords. And also the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Page of Cups, and the King of Cups. Look at this. Yeah. Someone's coming back around, but you and this person are not on the same page here. You guys don't really communicate well. Yeah, you guys are not on the same page. You guys are not looking for the same things here. You know, you just don't want to talk to this person here, uh, Pisces. Yeah, you just don't want to talk to this person here. You know, with the Nine of Pentacles here and the Nine of Cups, like I said, I feel like you guys are doing well on your own here. Like, I feel like you just don't want to go backwards with this person. Or, or, or you, for you for you yourself, you just don't want to go backwards in general here. You just want to keep moving forward. You know, you just want to keep moving forward, keep doing you here, keep seeking some sort of healing, spiritual enlightenment here, focusing on your money here, focusing on your happiness. The Two of Swords. We have the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy. Aries Scorpio energy here. Okay. Yo, know, whoever this is, this person's going to be surprised about the actions that you're taking here. Yeah. Like, I feel like this person never really felt like that you had it within you to cut this person out, to move on from them, and to not talk to them anymore. So, you know, I feel like you yourself have, have, have grown and changed a lot as a person here. You know, with the Two of Swords, I feel like you're blocking this person out, and I feel like this person is just really completely thrown off and surprised by this here. Yeah, because in the past, I feel like you had such a soft, so, such a soft heart towards this individual here. You just continue to talk to this person. You just continue to give this person chances here. And now that you're not doing that, this person is just really surprised. Okay? So... Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks guys. Bye.